Welcome back to the Keeping It Real with KC podcast. I, of course, am your host, KC Phoenix, and I'm doing a tarot reading for the collective, not for a specific sign. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it's not your story, don't try to make it fit. I'm just a person sitting here reading energy and tarot cards. Um, also, drying my clothes in the background so that might be what you hear. As for pre-shuffle energy, so when I picked the tarot deck I was using, the Hierophant was at the bottom of the deck. So there's something involving commitment, also something involving structure. It can also be something involving leadership too, or even marriage as well. So those are the things of the Hierophant. The Hierophant is Taurus energy. So either you may be a Taurus, have it in your chart, you could be dealing with one, or someone may have it in their chart. Now, at the bottom of the deck of my high vibe deck, mirror work came out twice. Because the thing is, for this one, I actually put this back in the deck. The Hierophant, I didn't on tarot. But this card, I did put back in the deck. And then as I was doing the shuffling, I came across the card again. So I decided to just leave it out. In mirror work, it says, look into a mirror and make a funny face. One that brings forth a laugh or a smile. Tell yourself that you are amazing and that is mirror work and for this what this is saying is that recognize that you're an amazing person recognize the value in yourself value is something that is not validated by other people as i always say validation is for parking not people value is something that you have to recognize if you don't recognize your value no one else will now in the pre-shuffle energy with the tarot cards Eight of Pentacles came out, Ace of Cups came out, Temperance was there. Also, the Four of Pentacles um, fell into the trash can, which gave me the idea, or should I say the energy, that some of you are just throwing caution to the wind. Where, especially with that Ace of Cups, where it's like, when you throw caution to the wind, something is coming in or something's coming in that will just put you in the energy of throwing caution to the wind. Again, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. There's something where there, there will be more balance because temperance did show up. Also, going back to the Hierophant card, too, there could be some type of commitment, especially with this Ace of Cups. Again, there, this could be marriage. It doesn't have to be, but it could be. So that's what we have on pre-shuffle energy. Let's get into the actual reading. I'm going to start with my high vibe um, deck. It's not really an oracle deck, but I, I consider it one. So let's get into this. May I have the energy for the collective? May I have the energy for the collective? What is it that the collective needs to hear? What is it that the collective needs to hear? May I have the energy for the collective? What is it that the collective needs to hear? Right? May I have a card, please? Thank you. Wow. Yes, there's something going on with people and the, how they view themselves. And, and whether that's you or somebody in your circle, I feel like it may be you. The card that came out is self-forgiveness. When you keep repeating past events and past mistakes in your mind, you bring your energy down. Say to yourself, I forgive you. I did the best I could with the information I had at the time. Deep breath. So I'm going to read it again for the people in the back. When you keep repeating past events and past mistakes in your mind, you bring your energy down. Say to yourself, I forgive you. I did the best I could do with the information I had at the time. Deep breath. So self-forgiveness is what we're looking at here. Again, and, and it's amazing with the mirror work where the energy is saying, okay, you need to recognize your value. Some of you may not be recognizing your value because of some stuff or one thing that happened in the past. And what this is saying is that, okay, you could only do what you could do at that time based off of the information that you had. You can't hold on to it and beat yourself up about it. It's time to forgive yourself. Now, for some of you, going back to this Hierophant card, you might make the commitment to forgive yourself or you might make the commitment to yourself. Hey, I'm going to move forward. I'm not going to stay in this stagnant. Um, I'm, I'm looking for another word, please. Not negative. That's not the word I'm looking for. Um, in this, it's like we're repressed. I was about to say repressed, but it's repressed. It's in this repressed energy. I'm not going to stay in this. I'm going to commit to 
you know, positive things. Now, at the bottom of the deck, it says emotions. Feel your emotions, be with them, honor them, process them. Then move on and enjoy your life. This is something about somebody is holding on to something. Because notice, like I said before, I'm trying to get this, I have to get used to this camera. It says, feel your emotions, be with them, honor them, process them, then move on and enjoy, capital letters, your life. So whatever this is that happened where you're having to recognize um, self-forgiveness, where you're forgiving yourself, this is saying, okay, yes, these things happened in the past. Okay, yes, you should recognize what happened in the past. So you can take note if a similar situation happens in the future. However, comma, after you recognize all of that, you have to move on to what is best for you and enjoy the life in front of you and not stay tied to the past behind you. All right, let's go ahead and get some tarot cards real quick and we'll wrap this up. Can we clarify the energy on the table? Can we clarify the energy on the table? Can we clarify the energy four of cups when I split the deck and then something's and then the lovers so making a choice too. Gemini energy water energy Cancer Scorpio Pisces can we clarify the energy on the table what is it that the collective needs to hear what is it that the collective needs to hear what is it that the collective needs to hear bottom of the deck is ten of pentacles that's good energy Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. For some of you, somebody might have just lost some money. Too. Especially with the um, banking and finance stuff. Which I already told you. The, I told you before in my reading last year. The economy is going to crash. Some people are saying that it's crashing right now. The crash hasn't happened yet. I have a feeling that it's probably not going to happen until Q3. But I also feel it's going to crash when something happens with the conflict with China. Just saying. that That's the energy that I picked up in one of my readings last year. When, when the actual depression happens because it's not we're already in a recession so that's whatever it, what's going to happen is a depression but it's not going to be a long one it'll be like 16 or 18 months anyways so for those of you and see ace of pentacles was right under that um 10 of uh, pentacles so for some of you if you lost some type of money or something and you feel like oh my god i, I could have made better decisions and you may be beating yourself up about that and if this ain't your story don't try to make it fit i'm just this is a specific timeline i'm talking about right now for somebody who lost money if you're beating yourself up about the money lost don't worry about it because you're going to get it back so yeah just throwing that out there for that specific timeline Let's see what other timelines are saying. See what? Nine of Pentacles. What I tell you, independent, self-sufficient, doesn't need any help. Very self-sufficient. Nine of Pentacles, more earth energy. Now, for some of you, this may be something going on with the job as well. Because don't forget, Eight of Pentacles came out. That can relate to work or the work that you're putting in on something. With the Hierophant, I just heard something about a contract. Somebody might be receiving a contract based off of the work that you've done some of you nine of pentacles is also independent contractor energy like um self-sufficient entrepreneur type energy some of you if you're an entrepreneur you might be receiving a contract for your services others of you this could just be you receiving some type of upgrade on your job where you might become a leader in, at your job if it's a regular job for um others of you Something just said to me, some of you might be getting more involved with nonprofit work related to the church, too. So if the church is doing something, let's say they're doing a food drive or, or they're giving away clothes or, or trying to, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Get donations, clothes donations, like to get t-shirts and socks and stuff for kids and things of that nature. I feel like some of you might be participating in that because all of a sudden you're called to do it. Again, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Thank you. And then Six of Wands is a victory card. So yeah, there's going to be some type of recognition, especially with the Hierophant. And then you have the Eight of Pentacles. Now you have the Nine of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. Some of you will get some type of recognition. Now, also going back to if these if these timelines are tying in together for some of you, going back to self-forgiveness, mirror work, and then um, processing your emotions. Because again, I feel like some people may be having an issue with seeing their value. This card coming out right here with the Six of Wands is saying, you're valuable. 
And don't get it twisted. Me saying that you're valuable with this card, this is not your validation. I'm not looking to give you that because again, I don't do the validation thing. I'm telling you that this is something you need to recognize, that you're valuable because this card is saying you're going to be recognized for something other people see your value. Even when it's hard for you to see it yourself at times. But I feel if you are tapping into this energy, that's only going to bring in more things for you. But there will be a victory. Some of you may feel like that th there's no light at the end of the tunnel. And if you, if any of you are in that energy, which is also affecting your emotions and how you view yourself, I'm telling you, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Next card to come out is Knight of Wands. So this is about movement. This is also about passion. This can be about travel too, as well. Also, Knight of Wands plus the Six of Wands is the Seven of Wands. This is giving you the high ground, standing your ground. Don't forget, Six of Wands is about victory, so you already have the high ground anyway. Now, some of you may be questioning your value because you may have people around you that have made you question your value. Maybe something that you're beating yourself up about, someone else or a group of people were beating you up about. But I'm telling you, don't pay it any attention. The reason I'm saying that Six of Wands minus Knight of Wands is Five of Wands. And see, strength was at the bottom of the deck. And now, Ace of Cups is at the bottom of the deck again. This is telling me that something is coming in for you. You just have to be strong during the process. For others of you, the reason that you are receiving your recognition, the reason that you are receiving the things you were receiving is because you were strong throughout the process. Thank you. What is this? What I tell you? Celebration. Some of you, you're finding your soul tribe. Maybe you were around a group of people that didn't recognize you. Now you're finding better groups. Um, Three of Cups is water energy. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And there's some type of celebration coming in. Especially with the Six of Wands here. Uh, being recognized, having a victory. That's a reason to celebrate. So, what I'm getting from this is recognizing your value. Also, what I'm getting is that for some of you, if something was lost, you're going to get it back. That is what I'm telling you. It, because it's already come out twice now. Because earlier it was the Ten of Pentacles with Ace of Pentacles at the bottom. And now it's the Six of Wands with the Nine of Pentacles. And then the Hierophant with the Commitment. There's something, some of you may have lost faith in something too. Whatever it is, you're going to get it back. But don't let that determine how you feel about yourself. Whether you get something back or not, you're still valuable because you are you. Everybody has value because they are them. If, if you made it to planet Earth, if you were born on this planet, you have some type of value. And not saying that any other, not saying that other life forms outside of Earth don't have value. I'm just specifically talking about the planet Earth right now. So if you were born on the planet Earth, you have value. It took a lot for you to get here. You wouldn't be here without a reason. Thank you. What is this? And then Knight of Swords. So that's taking action. And then guess what? Page of Cups is at the bottom of the deck. So again, there's something coming in. Pages bring messages. And this is an emotional message. And also with the Ace of Cups coming out when it did, I feel like it's going to be a partnership with the um with the page of cups is what i feel um but you can't stay stuck in what if energy because don't forget page of cups plus ace of cups plus three of cups is five of cups you can't stay stuck in that what if energy it, it has to be a thing of okay i have my future ahead of me the best is yet to come all right, so that is your message. KIRWKC.com, main podcasting platform. Until next time, be blessed.